I heard that same report, and I heard the number is 20 trillion. That's unsustainable. 30 trillion dollars is unsustainable. I personally see it as two choices. The federal government is printing up money. They started with QE1, QE2, quantitative easing. Our currency is a fiat currency. It's not backed by gold. It's not backed by anything tangible. Okay, so our currency is not a hard currency. No currency in the world right now is a hard currency. They're all fiat currencies. It means that they're backed by nothing but the faith of the government prints it. So the choices for America, the choices for America are going to be they're going to be two simple choices. You're going to do a hard default or a soft default. What happens in a soft default? They keep printing up more money, and the money that you have and that you've saved your whole life that's sitting in a 401 is worth less. Okay, that's what's happened. That's the biggest scam. Hold on, the middle class. The second thing is a hard default, which no one wants to do because no one has the guts to say we need to do what needs to be done. But the bottom line is, it's not. It's like me taking out a $25 million mortgage and making the first payment. I may make the first one, but I'm not making the second. What is the alternative? That's where we're at, and that's the reality. No, you're. I think you're. You're actually. With a, you're on a wireless mic, so you're on a bridge. I think that was the issue. So you just got to stay within the. Yeah. You have. You have an imaginary force field. Don't go past me. And you're good to go. So. If you'd rather not share, that, you'd rather share than share. That way, you go as far towards the mark as you need. Point is, it's either it's either a soft default or a hard default, and those are the and like Steve said, he's absolutely correct. And Eli, 100%, you have to reduce what you spend. You cannot spend more than you take in. But right now, this situation is untenable, and they're artificially inflating our markets right now. Thank you. Right now, our <clears throat> our stocks are at the highest levels they've ever been, just about. But if you look at it, they're not producing any more widgets. They're not making any more things. What they're doing is they're taking that cheap money and these corporations are buying their stock back. So what they're doing is they're making their stocks appear worth more when in reality, it's just a, it's just a game. Thank you. Thank you. Most Republicans